The need for skilled trades is rising across the country. Ron Hilliard now in the studio with more on what's happening locally to address the concern. Ron. Jill, do you have to have a college degree to make a good living? Well, many say there are alternatives, and one of them is working in the trades. Construction is booming in Erie and across the country, but there are not enough workers to go around. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there's a shortage of more than 200,000 construction workers in any given month. Actually uh, employing people from down south where work isn't as, uh, you know, isn't their rate right at the moment, and so they're moving uh, north. Electricians, plumbers, welders, and other skilled trades are all in need. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 56 business manager, Jim Newber, says his union offers an apprenticeship program that's rewarding for those who are willing to put in the time and at least have a high school diploma or GED. They get paid while they're in school, not like in a college. The program's training typically lasts five years, and once the person is certified a journeyman, they can expect to make more than $33 an hour. Money is a question that often comes up when Newber visits schools. During a recent discussion at Fort LaBeouf High School, he tried to be candid. A lot of them are thinking that once they go through their four years of college, they're going to come out and get a $100,000 job, and they just don't realize everybody starts at the bottom and, you know, gets the, the on-the-job training no matter what it is. The Fort LaBeouf coordinator for its Center for Post-Secondary and Career Discovery, Karen Horchin, says there are stereotypes that the industry must overcome. I think a lot of it comes from fearing of working in a factory um, and being dirty and you know I think a lot of parents always want more for their children. I just think the parents need to know that there are other options out there that there's family sustaining jobs working with your hands and you know building things. The skills gap is projected to grow and it's becoming so problematic that it's catching the attention of lawmakers. Myself and Seth Grove, a uh, representative from down around York, uh, came up with uh, a caucus specifically towards technical and trades education as well as placement within the field. State Representative Pat Harkins says they have hearings with stakeholders around the state learning how to bridge the divide. As these students realize that there's money to be made and they can do something that they're inclined to like and have fun with, uh, I think it'll grow more. Uh, just in the last two years we've noticed an incline of people having an interest. Back at Fort LaBeouf, Fortune says it's important to do something you enjoy as well as being able to find a job. What are the jobs available for them and what does the outlook look like that, you know, we want them to be able to make knowledgeable decisions about their future based on their interests and the job market and get them in a place that best fits them. If you're interested in learning more about apprenticeships and skilled trades opportunities, visit yourerie.com. Sean? Right, thank you, Ron.